In this episode of Paraphilic Disorders, we will review the topic of voyeuristic disorder. Now, a person with voyeuristic disorder experiences recurrent and intense sexual arousal from observing an unsuspecting individual who is naked, disrobed, or engaging in sexual activity. As with other paraphilic disorders, this arousal takes the form of fantasies, urges, or behaviors. The disorder usually begins before the age of 15 and tends to persist. A person with this disorder may masturbate during the act of observing or when thinking about it afterward, but does not generally seek to have sex with the person being spied on. The vulnerability of the person being observed and the probability that they would feel humiliated if they knew they were under observation are more often part of the enjoyment. In addition, the risk of being discovered adds to the excitement. As you can see from the following example, in the case of 25-year-old Sam's description of his disorder during an interview. And I quote, I've had many girlfriends, but it's not the same. It's fun at first, but I get bored after a while in relationships. I never get that kick that excitement that I do when I look at others. There's no way that I could be the same with someone who actually knows I'm there. The biggest thrill is when I'm watching my neighbor having sex with one of her boyfriends, or maybe watching Zoe down the block changing her clothes. Neither of them fully shuts their drapes, so there's always a little angle where I can see into their rooms if I get in just the right position on the lawn. Everything about it turns me on, learning their schedules, waiting until it's just dark enough not to be seen, finding the right spot to look from making sure I'm very quiet so no one hears me. Sometimes I'll take a walk and try to find someone I haven't watched before. If I hit the jackpot, that can be even more exciting because I don't know their routines. I don't know what's coming next and I'm a little bit more nervous that I might get caught. Thinking about it afterwards, I also get excited, especially if I came close to getting caught. I realize what a chance I was taking, and it gets my heart going and gets the rest of me going as well. Sometimes I'll make up extra details when remembering what happened, especially details about barely getting away at the last second or even being spotted. And that's what makes it even better. Of course, if I ever get caught, it would be horrible. I'd die if anything ever happened. End quote. Voyeurism, like exhibitionism, is often a source of sexual excitement and fantasy. It can also play a role in normal sexual interactions. If a partner consents to voyeuristic-like behaviors, the clinical disorder of voyeuristic disorder is marked by the repeated invasion of other people's privacy. Some people with this disorder are unable to have normal sexual relations. Others have a normal sex life apart from their disorder. Many psychodynamic clinicians propose that people with this disorder are seeking by their actions to gain power over others, possibly because they feel inadequate 
or are sexually or socially shy. Cognitive behavioral theorists explain the disorder as a learned behavior that can be traced to a chance and secret observation of a sexually arousing scene. If the onlookers observe such scenes on several occasions while masturbating, they may develop a voyeuristic pattern. <laughs>